Ebony Radio TV Online. Coucou ton la Kalesi. What's up, everyone? Welcome to Freaky Talk Show. It's a girl, Miss Kenj, and thank you for joining us. Please invite a friend and find friends to join us on this talk show today because we have a lot to talk about. Today, we'll be talking about marriage. Guys, relationship, marriage, we're going to talk about, you know, it's freaky, freaky. If it's not freaky, freaky, guys, what is it? But we, before we dive into it, guys, let's go on a short music break. I have a sweet music for you guys to listen to. Creedot featuring Simi Sola. What is the name of the music? Duro Shoma Duro. Let's dive into it. Let's listen to the music. Let's go. I go stay when you rain the fall when the sun they burn. Mushelleri, where I go stay? Beji bada go jobaro. Mama duro ni nu plenty, mama duro ni nu kosi, mama duro, mama duro bela mi duro, mama duro bara yobulo. Hello guys, welcome back to your favorite talk show. Yeah, I hope you enjoy this song. This song is so beautiful. It's all about, you know, staying together, bonding together in your relationship. Will you be there when there is nothing, where there is everything, where there is ups and down? Will you always be there with your partner? When things are going not smoothly the way you think it's going to be, are you going to be there with your partner? That is what this song is all about. Yeah, guys, like I said before we went on a short break, I said that we'll be talking about relationship and marriage today, guys. Oh my God. I know a lot of you like, mm, this guy, are you, are you a relationship therapist or counselor? I am not. I'm not a professional marriage or relationship counselor. But I know that few things I'm going to spew here will be useful for both marriage and the ones that are not yet married, single, married, or everybody, couple, just gather here and let's talk about it. I know this is going to be useful for you guys. But before then again, you know I'm a fan of good music. Now let's go into music. Let's listen to this one by Roga. Hey, this is Shiwaju by Roga. Let's listen to it. By then we'll come back and talk about the full gist. Let's go. See, I'm on a media leader, she was true. I'm a fucking boy, I don't need me. No man fit talk shit to me. He look me, he go go let go. Chase my friends and click. When I call them, I all pulling up. We strapped up with the guns and the swords and things bring hell to anybody who try to test me. I'm Don't forget that I'm waiting. I'm waiting on you to join us. Join us on this topic. This topic is very important. Don't say you're not married. Don't want to listen to what I have to say. You're single. You're searching. You're ready to mingle. Join us on this show right now. Invite friends. Whether I'm married or not married, just join us. Let's talk about this. It's going to be important. In your life, let's go. 
Every day we do when I'm on call, supposed to know how the thing go. Man, get your night till I fade out. Give the vibe, no pure my way out. Pull up, anytime we stay past. The men, them outside, we know they ask. No, they look for us, we know they ask. So they see the mula, we don't spray out. Thank God, said the maga don't pay out. Oh, 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 oh. see, I'm ahead of them as she was true. I'm a fucking baller, you got on in me. No man fit talk shit to me. Me know me, you go collect to. Welcome back once again, my beautiful people. Like I said, I said we're going to be talking about relationship marriage. Guys, it's going to be first, firstly relationship before you say, oh, this is the person I want to spend the rest of my life with. It's within the relationship that you will be able to see some red flags and you will say that, oh my God, I can't be with this person. I can't make this person my life partner. I can't share my future with this person. And that is where you can be able to say, oh, this is the person I can share my future with. This is the person that I can always be with. I can be with, say, oh, this person can be my future right now. That is what relationship or courtship is all about. It's in relationship that you'll be able to see what red flags, like I said. That is why I said cut before you say decide that you want to get married. Don't just say, ah, I want to get married. No, uh, because my friends are getting married. I want to get married before, because my friends are having kids. I want to have kids. I want to go into it. No, it is not done like that. Marriage is all about what? Marriage is all about tolerance, endurance, love, care. So many things come with marriage. Yes, and it's all about companionship. People think marriage is all about sex and having kids, killer day waiting to happen now. It's not just about sex and having kids. Okay, if it's all about sex, what about those that have been together for like 60 years and they couldn't be able to do it anymore? So, if there is no love between them, would they be able to stay together up to that extent? So, let's think about it. Guys, let's go and listen to music and come back again to talk about the main coco coco. Let's go and listen to Energy by Ron Town. Let's go, guys. More life to my enemies. They won't take away the energy. They don't take away the energy. I know go lie, this kind of life will make you face. Kind of life will make you lose your mind. Cool, guys thank you for joining us invite friends and friends to join us guys like i was saying before we went on the break i said marriage is not all about sex and having kids like let's look into this okay there are many couples that have been married for years that doesn't have kids but what supersedes the whole situation is love for them to be together and stick to them together and be like god is the one that gave kids but in some marriages where there is no strong bonding and love when there is no children they'll be like ah, you're not giving my, my my son a child you're not giving us children and so you have to leave the house family will come into them into the relationship but when there is love and there is set of boundaries in your marriage there is limitation to what your family can say in your marriage okay you are you're not here to have kids you're not have to do this but if there is love you know that ah, god will do it god will do it that means there is love it's all about having kids or it's all about sex and let's look, let's look into sex expert okay your wife or your woman okay your wife used to be a nigeria she likes sex when you guys were just when well, you guys were cutting she used to be like budos are like she likes it really hot hot so when you guys get married she becomes ah come on that's in the room marriage that thing ruined marriage a lot but that shouldn't say that shouldn't that shouldn't give the go ahead to a man to say okay go outside and do rubbish and go and be doing this kind of okay carry this one carry this one carry this one you know when ladies are 
still single. There are things that they do in their family house. Most of them don't do dishes. They don't wash plates. They don't do anything. But when once she's married, she has to take care of you, take care of your house, take care of your meals. So there are a lot of things that she has to put into consideration. I have to do this for my husband. I have to do this. And if she's a working wife, you know, she gets tired most of the time. And that shouldn't be an excuse to for you as a woman to say, ah, I'm not giving it to you. When your man is ready to say, oh, baby, oh yeah, open, let me enter. Try, try and give at least that five minutes of satisfaction to your man to come in. Try, try, please try. So guys, please let's go and listen to music and come back again so that this is going to sweet us. I'll be out now to see him now. Let's go. We are listening to my guy, my guy, Bryce Pyro and Tiwa Savage. Hey, this one, hey, you be be my G for life. So I call your name when you ask me. Gee, that guy is my guy. Jerry's not my guy, not my guy. MK and Jumke for life. Welcome back, my beautiful people. Like I said, we're talking about that maintaining relationship. You know, sex bring a bond into marriage. Yes, it is very, very important. Important, but men shouldn't make it a priority. You shouldn't make it a priority and say, Oh, because and eh, she's not giving you, you want to go outside there and carry and carry all these girls in skippy skirts, want to see everything in skirts. Stop it, stop shebe, stop doing that, stop shebe. No, no, I don't like it. I'm not support you. I'm not support you, men, on this one. Like, if your woman says she's tired, just understand that oh, she's tired and look for ways. To pet your woman and say this, this. If she says she's tired one day, second day, that shouldn't mean that you now get angry, you vest, you go outside there and. Infection is very real. Oh. Infection is real. STD, STI, gonorrhea, all these things are very real. But if you have this beautiful woman in your house, pet her. Let her know that, ah, baby, you are tired today. Okay. You go out, you do this. Buy her what she loves. Ah, buy her gifts. Women will like, well, especially me. I like money. Women will like money. We like gifts. We, like, we love surprises. Take her out. You know that. Oh, this is what my woman likes. Okay, when you get to the house, this, this, this. You know that. At the end of the day, she will smile. At the end of the day, she will. will you will surely do. Not that you will not be like angry. Get angry and be like, no, that shouldn't be a priority in your relationship. Marriage is not all about sex. It's all about companionship. And it has to do with tolerance endurance care understanding and there's one thing i want us to treat in this topic trust trust is very very important and most important in a relationship or marriage if you don't trust your partner there will always be an issue in your marriage or relationship okay it should be a partner that'll be like okay they'll say i, I see your wife at so so hotel right now okay you want your man to trust you before you before you go ahead or you go to somewhere, you should tell your man, Oh, I'll be at somewhere at so 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 time and I'll be doing so 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 thing at that place. Okay, when anybody all all this be boring, I'm a boy, ABC, I'm a boy business it has, call your man and be like, ah, we saw your, uh, your 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 man should be able to say, Ah, I know she was there, she went to she went for a meeting. Do you understand? That is a foundation of trust. But if you don't even, you have to, women or men, we should be able to lay the foundation of trust. If you want your women to trust you or your men to trust you, please lay the foundation so very well. There has to be trust. Not the one that, ah, there will be like, hey, as we saw your wife at such a so place, talking to a man, and you get angry, you get enraged. That is not the way the two things, they have to be 100% of trust. Even if you want, if you want to live long, don't be a woman or a man that will be like, ah, yay, there's some man where with who with one woman with one man doing what? Hey, multi bell, wala to the essence that your man will not come, will not come to that. You will be sneaking before you will enter. 
you will not be able to eat your food because you will think that you want to poison the food because of what people have told you and because of the way you were reacting. Ah, Pepe Body, no, it's not the right thing. To, it cannot hold your relationship or your marriage so well. That is why I said that before you say you want to get married, try to know some red flags. If your man is a cheater, if he's a cheat, or your woman is a cheat, if he's a drunkard or kind of behavior that you don't want your man to have your life partner to have you should be able to say okay if he cannot change those attitudes don't think when you get married he will change it or she will change it all she cannot change or uh, he will he will not change marriage cannot change a partner I'll be like oh eh, okay when we get married i'm sure that he will change or she will change never Goal possible. You can't change anybody as long as your partner does not change for you or for himself or for the sake of your marriage or your relationship. There is no how he can change while you married. Don't think marriage will change. Or okay, some women will say, Ah, I love this man, and I think having kids for him will make him stay. You lie to yourself. Having kids for a man does not mean that he will stay with you or be with you. No. Do, just just remove that out of your way. If you're having needs in your mind or you've, you've made that mistake, please don't let anyone that is beside you or that is growing up beside you make that mistake. Marriage can, um, having a kid, having a kid for a man cannot make him stay. Or you think, ah, you are, a you are good in bed, cannot make a man to stay. And uh, you are a bulldozer. You know, where your, where your whole end, now where another person they start. So when your whole end, that's where another person is starting. And that's where, that's the starting point for another person. So don't think sex or having kids for a man will make him stay. Ha, hey, hey, don't be a baby mama for no reason. No. Just don't be a baby mama for no reason. Respect yourself, respect your dignity. And for men that see sex in women that believe that, oh, sex is the most important thing that women should give, that is not it. You need a life partner, someone that you can share your feelings with, someone that can build your future and the future of your kids. That is the most important thing. Don't put sex as a priority in your marriage. No, you need a woman. Okay, it's good to be with somebody that can satisfy you when it comes to this thing we call sex. Yes, it's good because most people women believe that when once they get married they get tired they don't do this they don't do that kids even one one kid serve yeah. tired woman not to talk of having two or three kids we need to understand understanding is very important also in marriage or in relationship most especially in marriage because it's in marriage you know that this is a life thing it's a lifetime deal yes in a relationship you can still work out Anyhow you want, no stigma. Nobody wants to put stigma on you that uh, uh, she has dated this, she has married. No, it's a relationship. It's a courtship. You can walk out of it anytime. But when it comes to marriage that you've tied in a knot, no. If you walk out, people would surely talk about you. They will put your topic on the table and discuss about it. That is why there is courtship. Court. Know your man. Know your woman. Know you want to deal with. Know who you want to have a lifetime deal with before you venture into it guys we'll be coming right back let's go on a short music break let's go so we are listening to tenny tenny little love
boundaries to your relationship. Yes. Or in your marriage, it's most importantly. Setting boundaries is very important. Know who you want to intervene in your marriage. And accepting third party in your marriage ruins marriage a lot. Okay. Okay, it's good to talk to your parents about whatever. Maybe it's not everything you, you can even discuss with your parents in your marriage because it is very important to make some things so confidential. It is your it is your deal with your partner. Okay, if your relationship has turned to an abusive relationship, you can put your um, parent into it, not your friends. And know that your okay, your parents love your partner so well, not the one that will put pepe into your relationship. You know that they love your partner and they accept your partner so well that they will be able to deal with the problem that is going on in your home. Not the one that will put pepe in your head or put away and be like, ah, you have to leave him more. You have to stay out of that relationship. You have to do this. They should be the one to, to cut the, the character of the guy and be like, oh, no, 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 no. Don't do this. Don't do that. Don't do And not to the extent that they will not say, ah, no, you have to work out. All your friends, not even do that, I say they like there are some friends that want you to be like them. Most of them are not married. And they be like, ah, you, you are married. Hey, okay now. When you start telling them everything about you, your marriage, or you start saying, ah, my husband just bought me this. So ah, look at this ring that my husband just bought for me. My husband just bought me a car. My husband just, my, my husband gave me gifts. My husband just sent me money. Started vomiting everything to your friends. It is very, very bad to, to be poor pouring out everything your husband or your wife do or did for you in your relationship or in your marriage. It is so bad. It's true relationship because most of them, not a, not all of them will be happy for you. I'll be like, ah, no. And some will be saying, ah, I love this guy. Oh, most of you will now say, ah, my husband, hey, he's so good in bed. Hey, hey. If you see the way my husband used to give it to me, hot, hot. Most of your friends will say, hey, hmm. So she's enjoying like this. Hmm. Okay, I want to. I really want to. I really want to. I really want to see what is down there. What is hmm, that? My friend is really enjoying. Most friends are like that. They are own breakers. They are, they don't care. They don't care about your happiness. Are, your happiness is not important to them. They don't care what you want to go through. They don't care whatever you want to go through in the future or anything. As long as you are the one vomiting everything for them. Ha, hey, they will go, they will find a way to, if your husband is not well disciplined, if he's not well disciplined, he will surely do it. He will do it and there is nothing you can do about it. You will be the one that will get, and at the end of the day, you will say, ah, eh, eh, I'm sorry, and this and that, um, uh, 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 men, men do it, men do it, sorry, sorry, it's only, they'll be like, men can have to two women or three women but women cannot do it that is very very bad what you can never accept don't do it to your partner okay you that you say okay ah I, I have a bestie even if it's a male or a female set your boundaries in your marriage to save your marriage not everything you tell your whatever you call your bestie as long as you have it okay most people say that they like male friends or female friends than okay guys will say they like female friends to be their friends and their bestie and women will be like they like male friends to be their confidence confidence and whatever they like they like somebody that they can they can always pull out their, their mind to they believe that uh, having a female friend as a female and will bring hypocrisy and all of that and they choose to have male friends that is a very bad thing in your marriage okay whatever that happens in your marriage you believe that telling your male friend will bring solution to whatever that you're going through your marriage it ruins it because he will be looking for and for hey, for space as long as you lose guy like this it will come in and the whole thing will just mess up and you just lose yourself as a female and as a male, okay, you have a crush, a lady that crush on you, and she turns to your bestie, and everything start going, and whatever, the, whatever that happened in your marriage, you start telling your bestie somebody that have crush on you. She, she will be the one teaching you what to do to your wife in the house, or even a male, a male bestie will be the one teaching you what to do to your husband in the house, and those things spoil marriage. It ruins marriage. Set your boundaries. Okay, you are my bestie. This is what we can discuss. If it's not about bringing money to my table, nothing else. Not talking. Don't talk about your marriage or your relationship with your bestie. They have no solution. 
they have no solution to it some besties are good and i'm not saying some besties are not good there are some besties that are good but not to the one that you know that this person have crush on you that want to be with you that want to have a relationship with you that you not think that that's the best person to talk to about your marriage ha <laughs> you you are putting petrol inside fire everything will now do what <laughs> it's not banner as in burn up so guys you know i'm a fan of music let's go and listen to music once again we'll be coming back to continue our just let's go guys <laughs> We are listening to Sweet Us by T Maya. It's one of my favorite though. To so all those early me, I do As the sweet us, I depend them. As they pay them, I sweet us. Don't mind me, I don't have any me. But if you do school schools, I show you bad boys. Welcome back to your favorite talk show. Guys, I'm so happy. Thank you for joining us. I am seeing your comments. Please, please keep joining. Keep, your comments keeps me going. Yeah. Don't forget to comment, like, and share for people to see. Because this is a very important information that I'm giving out to you guys. Very important. Not just for married couples. Even single people need to hear this. Because one... You'll get married sooner or later. So you need to listen to some tips that I'm giving out right now. So guys, hmm, it's very important to make your partner your best friend. Let that person be your best friend, your one and only friend. Somebody that you can, you know, what they say marriage. Like I said, I said marriage is a lifetime deal. And that's to be somebody that you know that, oh, this is the person I want to have my future with. I know that my kids are safe with this person. So why can't the person be your best friend? It is important that he has to be your friend, best friend. Somebody you can you can do ev- absolutely everything with. Your prayer prayer friend. Somebody you can pray. Lina, Hilala, somebody you can do. In Jesus' name, somebody you can pray with. Put your future into that person. And I know that my future is very safe. The future of my kids is very safe. Make your partner your best friend. And lead your partner on a straight path that you know that oh my partner is working on a straight straight path and he will not fall as a woman i'm saying this don't be a lazy woman pray for your partner in everything your partner does in his endeavor in everything most of you will will be we will see your uh, father or your pastor you'll be saying sir 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 and you cannot do sir for your husband in the house some of you to even bend to give your husband food self ah is problem and those things are the things that are making our our um this our society marriage in our society to become something like this yes you need to respect your partner as long as you can tell you can okay you go out now you you go how to hate somebody do something or you say ah thank you sir okay why can't you do that sir for your husband in the house for you to keep your marriage and keep the respect in your home it is very important to respect your man yeah they had a crown that is given to us then you have to cherish that crown as long as your man go out every day and bring out your daily bread or more respect that man even if you are working if you are a millionaire and you have a crown in your head or more D- dove your cap for him yes Men of now, they say, uh, there, there are even a lot of lazy men out there that be like, mm, if you bring, you bring. If you do not bring, mm, nobody cares. 
So, but if you have a man that does everything, absolutely everything for you and your kids, respect that man. Most of them are not, they are not plenty, oh, they are not plenty. Respect your man so that he will respect you too. Lay the foundation of respect in your marriage so that you can get it back. Yes, it is very, very important. So, guys, hmm, there is one thing I want us to discuss right now. <laughs> that thing, they always bust my head. But before we go into it, let's go and listen to music. Good music. We'll be right back. Let's go. Living at the highness. Maybe look the finest to you. Keep up with the fitness. I go with the love that's good. Don't listen to me, girl, I'm drunk. I'm only in love with my son. So you're not going to me the money. That's all that we now have done. Don't listen to me, girl, I'm drunk. I'm only in love with my son. So you're not going to me the money. Don't say what we now have done. So free, so free, I know we do. Hey, beautiful people, welcome back to your favorite talk show, Freaky Talk Show with your girl. Miss Gange, guys, this information that I'm about to spill out is for women. Yes, you know, most women love it when a man said, I want you to be a full housewife. Ah, hey, in this era that we are, everything is expensive. You want to kill your man, do you want him to die so young? That is why most men die so young. You'll be like, Mother is still there, they are enjoying, they are enjoying everything. The child is father, ah, ah, it's not good. Even if your husband said that, be a full housewife, say, ah, ah. Okay, open a shop for me. Let me start doing things. Don't be happy. That is a bad thing. Don't say, ah, eh. Okay, since my husband said I should be a full housewife, because of what? Even if you start having kids, don't take that idea. It's not a good thing. It's a relationship, and it has to be 70-30. If your husband is bringing 70, try to bring 30 into that relation, into that marriage. It is very important. And your kids will be saying, it, ah, my mommy is also very supportive. Don't kill that man. Don't let him die. So You, know, you want to buy oil in the house to be your husband. You want to buy uh, matches. You want to buy pants for yourself to be your husband. Ah, that's a very bad thing. Don't do it. Even if your husband is a millionaire. Okay, only if your husband has the whole money. Maybe he's... Um, President, you have the old asset in your name that you know that ah, in a lifetime you do you will never go broke again. Even if your husband is not there, you have all the old assets. Not even in this part of Africa that we are not when when the husband dies, the family will come and be like, eh, it's our it's our son's property, it's our brother's property. Mm -hmm. No, no this and no peace and have peace for your for the sake of your mental health and the sake of your future. So that the future of your kids is also important. Not the one that the family now come and take everything where the husband is no more there. What will be your game? Do something for yourself that you know that okay, if anything happens, you have the you have things in your name. You have things that you are doing. Nothing will happen to you. The, 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 the stress will not be much for you later on in the future. Don't be a full housewife. Do something. If you are educated, you're a graduate, make use of your paper. And if you, are not, if you cannot do a 9 to 5 job, tell your husband to establish you and do something so that you too will have income. And you will always be there for your husband. How oh, these are men. <clears throat> they know they always... Time is not every day will not be Christmas, so they will come and be like, ah, my wife, ah, I need um 50k day. You should be able to bring it out. 
you should be able to say, ah, my husband, I'm giving you this, you, you use it to give me 60k or 50, 70k, you have to have something on it. That is where there they will always be happiness. But the one that your husband will come to your house, you too, you don't have anything. Husband went to your office, there is nothing on husband. It's not every time that our, all these our men have something on them. And you should know that, ah, at least I know that if I get to the house, my wife will have cooked me something that will eat better food. I will eat goat's meat and everything that there is no money, I did not drop money in the house, but I know that my wife will do something. That is when a man see peace. A man will see peace there. They said, hey, hey, uh, road to a man's heart is good food. <laughs> Always know that, oh, okay, my husband did not do this, so I know him. I know he's a good man. Yeah, okay, 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 okay. Okay, let me do this for him. Let me do this for him. That is when, okay, there are a lot of things that you can do to your man that will make him to stay with you and stick with you and always want to be there with you. So don't lose that on that. Don't be a fool ass wife. No. Walk. Make money. Do something for yourself. And you husband. Mm. All of you are used to do this thing because of uh, um, jealousy. I'll be like, I don't want my wife to work. I want her to stay in the house. And she will shoot too. You always do subscription in the house for her to stay in the house and watch television. Huh. You're hurting yourself. You are doing what? You're hurting yourself. That is not a good idea. A woman that will cheat, will cheat. A woman that will not cheat, will not cheat. Just know that and no peace. Know that a woman, ah, my woman, I trust my man, I want her to make money and do things. But some of you, you'll be like, ah, they'll be looking at my wife, Yansh. They'll be looking at my wife, Cleveledge. They'll be doing this. That is craziness. Trust your wife. Put that, put, put that, put that out. Trust her. But if she fuck up, you know, say, oh, now nah, she fuck up. A woman that will cheat, will cheat, oh. A woman that will cheat, we surely cheat. But don't say because uh, you will not, you want to kill yourself with pressure. You want to kill yourself all temper. Kill a day. What's going happen? She, she has met people before she met you. But if she loves you, she will be loyal to you. 100% loyal. I know that. I know I love my husband. And I want to be loyal to the rest of my life. My and she will keep doing her thing without hurting you. But you that you are always this... When not, they will say that somebody that used to use cutlass on people's head, we don't want somebody to use cutlass on their head. I know most of you that used to do that, I'll be like, hey, I don't want my, my wife to work. I want my wife to stay in the house. And I'll be, I'll be giving her everything that she wants. That is it's totally, absolutely no good. I'm not saying nonsense. No. Let your wife work. Let her focus on her career. Yeah. Because she's woman. Not because she's woman mean that okay she 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 start having kids she should forget about her own career let her face her career let her focus on her career too while taking care of the kids too she should also focus on what she loves doing don't say because men some men are there so if she loves you she will be loyal to you Andre he said guys we'll be seeing it more than this today and I hope you enjoy the talk show but before I go. I would like us to listen to music for one or few minutes before I say goodbye. Let's listen to cool music. I'll be right back. We are listening to Naira Mali, excuse me, featuring MHG, a, a French um, artist. Yeah, from, I think from Mali or, yes. So, and the song is Excuse Moi. Me and two girls that's goopy. My lifestyle is a movie. Fast money, fast car, nigga, I'm speeding. She knows that I'm busy. Suck my dick on the way to the meeting. God damn me, she don't talk, she just listen. At the same time, she won't fuck to the meeting. Excuse moi, excuse moi. Why are you so fine? Why are you so fine? Chop kiss moi, chop kiss moi. Let's one and time, let's one and time. Your fuck is mad, and I want you to be mine. You to be mine. Excuse moi, excuse moi. Chop kiss moi, chop kiss moi. Mais moi, de whisky sec dans le verre. J'ai la moula qui frappe le cochon. De whisky sec dans le verre. J'ai la moula qui frappe le cochon. Trois F frappe le cochon. Le produit prévient du pays de Colossini. Ah, substance chimique. Au collège, on pratique la chimie. Tu te coupes, t'en bas, tu donnes. C'est jaune, la moula est bonne. Y'a les bleus, ils ont crié 22. Y'a les bleus, ils ont crié 22. Ah, on est trop à la fille sur un hara. On est trop à la fille sur un hara. Plus de vestes en cuir, cascaraille. 
Et tu peux vendre faire si à caracola Excusez-moi, excusez-moi Why you so fine, why you so fine Chop qui sont moi, chop qui sont moi Let's go and let's go, let's go and let's go Your butt is mad, and I want you to be mad Excusez-moi, excusez-moi Chop qui sont moi, chop qui sont moi We're listening to Mr. P. Paloma, yes, featuring Sing. Hey guys, oh my god, I hope you enjoy the song, you enjoy the music. We listen to Naramali, excuse me, featuring MHD, and we listen to Mr. P. Paloma, yes, featuring singer. Guys, like I said, I said we won't be seeing in more days today. I hope you enjoy the show. And please, most of the things that I said in this episode, please make use of it. Try to notice some red flags in a relationship. That is why there is courtship before you you said, okay, I want to go into marriage. Know that, okay, this is the person I want to spend the rest of my life with. If it's trustworthy, if it's a person that you can be with. Like I said, marriage is a lifetime deal. Yes, know that this is a person. This person can keep my future safe. And this person can keep my life safe. Yes, both mentally, physically, and spiritually. Then financially. Financially is very important. It should be able to take care of you. It should be able to take care of one another. Yes, if your husband doesn't have, you should be able to say, okay, yeah, I am here to support my husband. That's why they call us, they put it 50-50 supporters. Yes, life partner. Yes, fight the war, make things work. Anything that comes your way, be ready to face it and come together so strong as one and again never lie to your partner if it is white let it be white if it is true you know if it is lie, just make sure that you are transparent let everything flow yes guys thank you so much i'll be saying thank you to our team and my boss at ebony media concepts for powering this program thank you so much always for always be the right boss yeah <laughs> 
and to our viewers thank you so much for always coming online to see our program thank you so much if not for you who are we yes and please don't forget to like comment and share your comments keeps us going thank you so much i remain your loyal girl from a booty metal lego state miss Gunch, your favorite freaky freaky girl <laughs> guys don't forget i love you guys so much but god love you most till i see you on the next episode i love you guys Mwah! sign out <laughs> Every little thing you did do to me, you did sweet to me for body. She your loving feet follow me. Wow, 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 wow. Get your bow, let me go crazy. I'm gonna say you sure for me. Say me can we draw money? Mm -hmm. Oh, my, oh, my, no good.